Why are scientists obsessed with Titan's cloud? Today, we're revealing the groundbreaking discoveries that could rewrite our science textbooks. Titan isn't just another moon. It's a treasure trove of scientific mysteries. From its methane lakes to its puzzling atmosphere, in this video, we'll dive into why Titan has become a focal point for researchers and how its unique features could revolutionize our understanding of space. Picture the excitement of the space race in the 1960s, where every new mission brought us closer to landing on the moon. That's the kind of anticipation scientists are feeling about Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Titan distinguishes itself in our solar system with its unique atmospheric composition, primarily nitrogen-based, accounting for about 95%, with smaller amounts of methane and hydrogen. The moon is also significant in size, being about one and a half times larger than Earth's moon. Its surface pressure is noteworthy too, clocking in at approximately 1.5 bars, which is higher than Earth's average surface pressure of one bar. The James Webb Space Telescope has revolutionized how we explore and understand Titan. It has provided us with detailed images and data that have led to groundbreaking discoveries. One such revelation is the presence of two massive clouds at Titan's poles. These aren't your typical water vapor clouds. They're made of methane and ethane. These clouds are part of a larger, complex weather system that also includes phenomena like methane rain and lakes. This system is still not fully understood and is the focus of ongoing scientific research. And that's not all. Titan's atmosphere is teeming with complex organic molecules like hydrocarbons and nitriles. These are the building blocks of life as we know it. While the extreme cold temperatures on Titan, dropping as low as negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit, make water-based life impossible, these molecules have led to intriguing theories about the possibility of life forms based on an entirely different chemistry. Think back to the space race. Just like each mission brought new discoveries and shifted our view of the universe, each piece of data we gather about Titan's cloud could be a major development in our understanding of life and space. Let's talk about methane, the baby Yoda of Titan. Small in stature, but huge in impact. Accounting for about 1.4% of the moon's atmosphere, methane might seem like a minor player, but it's anything but minor. On Earth, methane is often associated with life. Yes, we're talking about everything from cow flatulence to swamp gas. Finding methane on Titan is like stumbling upon a mystery novel's final twist. But what's all the fuss about a methane cycle? To understand this, let's do a quick refresher on Earth's water cycle. Water evaporates from Earth's surface, forms clouds in the atmosphere, and eventually falls back as rain. Now picture this process, but swap out water for methane. On Titan, methane evaporates from lakes, contributes to cloud formation, and then rains back down. It's as if Earth's water cycle attended a sci-fi convention and decided to then relocate to Titan. And here's where it gets more perplexing. Methane is a highly reactive molecule. Given enough time, and sunlight, it should break down. According to scientific models, Titan's methane should have vanished millions of years ago. Yet, here we are, still detecting consistent levels of methane in the atmosphere. This puzzling phenomena has left scientists searching for answers. Is there an unknown source replenishing this methane? Could it be volcanic activity? Or perhaps subsurface reservoirs? Or maybe something even more astonishing that we haven't considered yet? Next on our radar is the fascinating cocktail of organic molecules swirling around in Titan's cloud. We're not just talking about simple compounds, we're looking at a complex mix that includes hydrocarbons like ethane, acetylene, and even benzene. In this complex mix, we're seeing a level of molecular diversity that challenges our understanding of chemistry in space. Let's break it down a bit. Organic molecules are compounds that contain carbon atoms, and they're essential for life as we know it. On Earth, these molecules form the basis of everything from DNA to the food that we eat. On Titan, the presence of these complex organic molecules in the atmosphere is like finding a treasure trove of building blocks for life, just not life as we know it. So you might be wondering, how did these molecules get there? And it's a good question. Titan's atmosphere undergoes a process called photochemical smog formation, 
ultraviolet light from the sun interacts with methane and nitrogen in the atmosphere, leading to chemical reactions that produce these complex organic molecules. It's like a cosmic kitchen where the sun is the chef cooking up a batch of organic goodies. But here's the really interesting part. Some of these molecules are precursors to amino acids, the building blocks of proteins. While the conditions on Titan are far too cold for life as we understand it, these findings open up a realm of possibilities for alternative biochemistries. Could Titan's cloud be a nursery for a new kind of life? Next up, we're taking a closer look at Titan's poles. These regions are far from just being the ends of the Earth, so to speak. They're dynamic, mysterious, and packed with features that have scientists eager to learn more. First off, the polar clouds on Titan are spectacular in their own right. These aren't your garden variety cumulus clouds, they're supersized, stretching hundreds of miles across. The density of these clouds is so high that they've been compared to Earth's most ferocious thunderstorm systems. And here's the kicker, they're not made of water, but of methane and ethane. What's the driving force behind these massive cloud formations? One theory suggests that Titan's axial tilt, combined with its orbit around Saturn, creates unique climactic conditions at the poles. This leads to the formation of these superclouds, a phenomena that's unique to Titan and hasn't been observed anywhere else in the solar system. Then, there are the dark areas near the poles, often referred to as lakes. These aren't your typical lakes, just like the clouds, they're filled with liquid methane and ethane. These expansive bodies of liquid are unparalleled in the solar system outside of the Earth, setting Titan apart as a pretty unique celestial body. And here's something to ponder. Titan's poles are also home to what scientists call transient features, which are temporary bright or dark spots that appear and disappear over time. These could be caused by various factors, such as temporary cloud cover or even floating islands of organic material. The existence of these transient features make Titan's poles a compelling subject for ongoing and future scientific investigations. Imagine you're watching Inception, and just when you think you've got a handle on the dream within a dream thing, the movie throws another curveball that leaves you questioning reality. That's Titan's weather, always keeping scientists guessing with its unexpected phenomena. Now, let's delve into the intricacies. Unlike Earth, where water drives the weather, Titan's climate is influenced by methane. And this isn't a minor detail. It fundamentally alters how we understand meteorology. Methane rain on Titan forms temporary rivers that carve into the moon's icy surface. These rivers can accumulate into lakes, some of which are estimated to be up to 600 feet deep. It's like stepping into an alternative reality of meteorology where methane is the star of the show. But there's more complexity to uncover. Titan experiences what's known as cryovolcanism. Instead of typical lava-spewing volcanoes, these are volcanoes that erupt with substances like water and ammonia. These eruptions can shoot plumes as high as 30 miles into the atmosphere. Moreover, these cryovolcanic eruptions could be another significant source of the atmospheric methane, adding a layer of complexity to Titan's already intricate weather system and making it a subject of intense scientific scrutiny. And let's not overlook the winds. On Titan, Winds can reach speeds of up to 270 miles per hour, faster than the strongest tornadoes recorded on Earth. These winds have the power to shape the landscape, contributing to the formation of massive dunes that stretch for hundreds of miles. These aren't just piles of sand. They're made of tiny particles of organic material, which could be crucial in the search for extraterrestrial life. Just like the twists in Inception that keep you questioning what's real, Titan's unique weather phenomena open up new avenues for research and raise questions that could redefine how we understand weather. Not just on Titan, but potentially on exoplanets as well. Think of the Grand Canyon, one of Earth's most iconic landscapes, carved by the Colorado River over millions of years. Now, let's shift our gaze back to Titan, where the landscapes are even more compelling and intriguing. First, let's delve into the mountains of Titan. These aren't your average hills. Some peaks, reach elevations up to 10,000 feet. What makes them particularly unique is their composition. Unlike Earth's rocky mountains, Titans are made of frozen hydrocarbons and other organic compounds. 
Researchers speculate that tectonic forces could be at play, similar to Earth, but with a distinctly tightened twist. The hydrocarbons in these mountains also open up questions about the moon's geological history and its potential to harbor life. Next, we explored Titan's impact craters. These aren't your run-of-the-mill moon craters. Thanks to Titan's thick atmosphere and dynamic weather, many of these craters fill up with liquid methane and ethane, essentially becoming lakes that way. This phenomena is unique to Titan and has scientists eager to study the chemical makeup of these crater lakes. And then let's not overlook the mysterious islands that come and go on the surface either. These aren't mere anomalies. They could be caused by various factors, from floating ice blocks to seasonal liquid level changes. Their elusive nature makes them a hot topic for future missions and research. Much like the Grand Canyon reveals layers of Earth's geological past, Titan's diverse surface features offer clues that could reshape our understanding of planetary formation and even the origins of life. Have you ever puzzled over Stonehenge, the ancient monument shrouded in mystery? Titan's atmosphere is our solar system's own enigma, filled with complexities that keep scientists on their toes. There's the atmosphere's density, its heavyweight, more than one and a half times as massive as Earth's, primarily composed of nitrogen, methane, and hydrogen. Despite its distance from the sun, this thick atmosphere creates a greenhouse effect. While Titan is incredibly cold at negative 290 degrees Fahrenheit, it's still warmer than other moons in the outer solar system thanks to this effect. Picture a fog so thick you can't see your hand in front of your face. That's what spacecraft encounter when trying to view Titan's surface from space. This isn't just any fog, it's a layer of organic compounds. Scientists believe these compounds form from complex chemical reactions initiated by solar radiation, producing a variety of organic molecules that could serve as building blocks for more complex structures. Just like Stonehenge remains a subject of wonder and fascination, Titan's atmosphere is a complex puzzle that scientists are eager to solve. Understanding its intricacies could offer new insights into planetary atmospheres, surface interactions, and even the potential for life elsewhere in the solar system. You know how anticipation builds before a new season of Stranger Things? That's how the scientific community feels about the upcoming missions to Titan. The excitement is palpable, and the stakes are high. First on the agenda is NASA's Dragonfly mission. Slated for a 2027 launch, Dragonfly is no ordinary spacecraft. It's an octocopter designed to fly over Titan's diverse terrains from dunes to the impact craters. The mission aims to capture high-resolution images and collect samples to study prebiotic chemistry. What makes this especially intriguing is the focus on finding complex organic compounds, which could provide clues about the existence of life beyond Earth. Next, there's the Titan Mare Explorer, commonly known as the Time. This mission plans to send a floating capsule to land in the Ligeia Mare, one of Titan's largest methane lakes. The capsule will study the lake's composition, its depth, and even its tidal flow. The goal is to understand how these methane lakes interact with Titan's atmosphere and whether they contain molecules that could be the precursors to life. And we can't leave out the European Space Agency's proposed Titan and Enceladus mission, also known as Tandem. This ambitious project plans to send an orbiter to study not just Titan, but also Enceladus, another moon of Saturn that has caught scientists' attention. The orbiter would carry a suite of instruments capable of analyzing surface and atmospheric conditions as well as potential subsurface oceans on both moons. Just like the release of a new Stranger Things episode keeps fans eagerly waiting, these future missions to Titan have the scientific community filled with anticipation. They hold the promise of revealing even more about this mysterious moon and could even challenge our current understanding of life itself. So, could Titan hold the answers to some of the universe's biggest questions, like the existence of extraterrestrial life? The clock is ticking, and these upcoming missions might just drop a revelation that shakes our very understanding of the universe. If you enjoyed this deep dive into Titan and its many exciting properties, you'll want to watch this video on your screen next about the Pearls Field, another amazing exploration by the James Webb Space Telescope that will push the boundaries of what you think you know. As always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.